I'm late, I know, but here are 10 new App Store games from July 2022. Noah's Heart is a new free 3D action gacha game from the people behind Dragon Raja. This one is definitely going for a Genjin Impact style for the gameplay and world on offer. It's also built in Unreal Engine 4, and because of this, I'd say it has last gen graphics. PS4, Xbox One, I don't know. Having no controller support kind of sucks, if I'm to be honest, but it was to be expected. I guess Noah's Heart's main selling point is the grappling hook. Ooh! And sometimes the character's expressions look absolutely absolutely ridiculous and buggy, which was probably added for comedic purposes. Uh, it also supports up to 120 FPS on iPad Pro and up to 90 FPS on iPhone 13 Pro, which is nice. I don't really like these type of games, they bore me. That being said, I know many of you are into gacha games, so if you're interested, check it out. The voice acting isn't too cringy I found either, which is good. Noah's Heart is available on iPhone, iPad, and Apple Silicon-based Macs. I still can't believe what I'm seeing here. Into the Breach on mobile. Excellent. It's an overwhelmingly popular indie strategy game on PC and Nintendo Switch and is by the creators of FTL. Anyway, Into the Breach has players controlling powerful mechs from the future to defeat an alien threat. Each attempt to save the world presents a new, randomly generated challenge in this turn-based strategy game. I strongly suggest playing this one on an iPad Pro with 120 FPS support and a controller in hand. It's a wonderful experience. Now it might be annoying to some that it requires a Netflix subscription to play. That being said, Netflix has honestly been more exciting to me than Apple Arcade at the moment. Into the Breach is available on iPhone and iPad only. The House of Da Vinci 3 marks the grand finale to the House of Da Vinci trilogy. These games have always been up there as some of the best puzzle adventure games on the level of Myst, The Witness, or The Room. It also offers AAA quality graphics and cutscenes from an indie developer, and it's very well done. And like the previous games, it runs at 120 FPS on iPad Pro, and it's a real treat. You will solve numerous new puzzles and explore new locations. The main goal is to escape rooms and solve the mysterious story behind one of the world's most prolific inventors in history. The House of Da Vinci 3 costs $5.99 USD. It is available on iPhone and iPad only. This one took me by surprise. Before Your Eyes is one of the most unique adventure games. It's special gameplay mechanic is allowing players to control the story using your real life blinks. That's right, the game utilizes the camera on your device to read your blinks. It's super cool. Enjoy an emotional first person adventure where you explore the memories and experience a soul's journey into the afterlife. You must help the main protagonist pass on. To do this, you'll go back and relive the most important moments of the protagonist's life. It's worth noting, you don't have to play this game using your camera. You can disable that feature. You can also play the game in portrait mode, if that is your cup of tea. It's not my cup of tea, but it might be your cup of tea. Before Your Eyes is only available to Netflix subscribers. It is available on iPhone and iPad only. I found this one through Reddit. Gloomgrave is a really cool rogue-like dungeon crawler with a retro pixel aesthetic. It features turn-based combat and randomly generated dungeons. Its gameplay formula is nothing new per se, but it's an excellent way to kill time. Players can select a class 
from five different options. You can also level up your gloom crawler, avoid traps, collect gold to buy gear, collect more than 50 items to loot, and you can manage your inventory. Ooh. Um, where are we? It is missing a few key features, such as appropriate markers on the map, cosmetic unlocks, selling options, and most importantly, I really wish this game had a landscape mode, especially on iPad. Controller support would also be amazing if possible in the future. It's still a very impressive game that was made by just one person and that is what our focus should be on for, for what, what's on offer. Gloomgrave costs $3.99 USD. It is available on iPhone and iPad only. Incoherence is another puzzle adventure game. It's not on the level of The House of Da Vinci 3 in terms of graphical presentation, but it's quite a different experience anyway, so I don't even think it's fair to compare, but I just did that, so who knows if I'm in the right. It's a point and click game using a camera to solve puzzles. The story is not too in depth, but it's there. Play as Jason Beth Lamb as he awakes to a brightly lit room. In front of him is an assortment of items, especially a camera, which is what you'll use a lot here, and he has no memory of how he got there. The goal is, you know what it's going to be, it's to escape. It's not terribly difficult, but if you are having trouble, thankfully there is a full hint system. Incoherence costs $3.99. $99 USD. It is available on iPhone, iPad, and Mac. Originally released on PC and console in 2019, deck building, roguelike, dicey dungeons has come to the App Store. In this one, you become a walking dice and will battle in procedurally generated dungeons. You must escape from the evil Lady Luck. Fight monsters, find new and improved loot as you explore, and level up your heroes. You have to manage all this against the unknown of a dice roll. The game has a lot of replay ability, and I think this is due to the amount of content on offer. You see, each character plays extremely different and provides a good variety in gameplay. The soundtrack is also pretty good. Dicey Dungeons costs $4.99 USD. It is available on iPhone, iPad, and Apple Silicon based Macs. Now, this one won't be for everyone. It's not for me. But for lovers of board games, especially fans of Tabletop Tycoon, you must, must check out Everdell. Everdell is a pretty good city building game combining worker placement and strategic card play to create a new civilization. You can gather resources to build constructions and recruit colorful and extremely cute little critters to make your city come alive. Remember, each card in your city scores points and after four seasons have passed, the highest scoring city wins. The game even has cross-platform multiplayer, or you can play against the AI and solo challenges. The one thing that I will say is that some of the cards are too small to see, especially on an iPhone, so please fix. Everdell costs $9.99 USD. It is available on iPhone, iPad, and Apple Silicon-based Macs. Gwent Rogue Mage is a single-player expansion to Gwent the Witcher card game. It combines the best elements of roguelike, deck building, and strategy games with the unique mechanics of Gwent card battles. The game focuses more on long matches rather than a casual experience. It also has an energy bar. <gasps> Don't be scared though, because the energy bar is used for each run and then completely refills when you start your next run, if you 
do them back to back. The main issue right now for most players is that it's quite buggy with crashes and in-game silly bugs. I didn't see any, but I've seen many reports of this. Gwent Rogue Mage costs $9.99 USD. It is available on iPhone and iPad only. I hope they make an Apple Silicon version in the future, like they did for Gwent. Our last game to look at is Chefy Chef, a 2D pixel platformer. Crescent Moon Games always deliver quality platformers to mobile, and this one is no exception. Armed with your cooking skills and ingenuity, embark on a delicious adventure in Chefy Chef. Collect ingredients, overcome 60 levels, search and collect burgers, and pick up cooking tools to unlock superpowers for climbing walls with a knife, teleport with a frying pan, or jump high with a cooking hammer. It's a silly game, but that's its pure intention. Chefy Chef costs $1.99 USD. It is available on iPhone, iPad, and Apple Silicon based Macs. Quick bonus, if you have an Intel Mac, The Witcher 1 and 2 have been updated for 64-bit or, you know, just new modern operating systems, which is fantastic. The bad news is that these games don't support Apple Silicon. They won't launch, so don't buy it on those platforms. What do you think of these new App Store games from July 2022? You may be disappointed by all the indie games, but for me, this is really promising, as these are all high quality games arriving from PC and console. My next episode for August games on the App Store looks even more exciting with games from Descenders, Hindsight, Iron Marines Invasion, Papers Please, ooh, Urban Trial Tricky and Towers of Fantasy. So be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date with new App Store releases. My name's Dewey and thanks for watching.